welcome back to my channel we're discussing a new card reader the paypal zetto reader 2. in this video we're going to set up the back office of the new paypal zetto and the screen that i am right now the overview after the initial sign up this is the screen that you will see so that's after you put in your business information you know business documents and all of that then you'll sign in and you'll be at the overview screen once you make it to the overview screen you want to go ahead and click download zeta app once you click download zeta app a barcode for the download location of the zeta app should come up you want to go on your phone and click qr reader and actually read the QR of that barcode off of your computer. Once you do that, it should bring up the Play Store. When you're at the Play Store, you go ahead and you download the app. And from there, once you download the app, it's gonna ask you to sign in. It's gonna show you all the good stuff about the app, you know, the new things, what it has. You can skip through that and then go ahead and actually sign in. What it will do is send you to a screen to sign into your PayPal business account and from there you'll be able to sign into PayPal Zetto. Now it shows you on the screen everything like a checklist for you to continue your PayPal Zetto setup, what you may need to do or what you would like to do. It's like a checklist to, you know, to make sure you got everything in order for when it's time to take your first purchase. As you can see that it has, the PayPal Zeta has a lot of features. You can take payment through Venmo, PayPal, Cash. It has cash drawer. You could do add a different bar barcode reader. You can also add a different card reader. So it is versatile. Basically like it, it meets the minimum for the regular card readers and it, you know, it over exceeds with it where it concerns back office and mini POS system. It has a lot of different features that I do admire. And I, I must say the back office for the PayPal Zetto is superb compared to our first PayPal here, which we did love. Now, as I just showed you a while ago, there isn't any products on the PayPal Zetto reader yet. So one next thing that the PayPal Zetto comes with is that you can integrate your website. As you can see, you can do WooCommerce or Shopify or BigCommerce. Those are the ones that they have right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and integrate our Shopify store. I am showing you what else they have. You can do a different, some APIs, you can integrate accounting, you can integrate a, you know, a bunch of different things. But for now, for this tutorial, we're going to connect our Shopify store and integrate our Shopify product list. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and type in the name of our Shopify store. So that way we can click find store and it could pull up our Shopify store fire or Shopify URL. Once this happens, you go on Shopify and you know, Shopify has to ask your permission to make sure that you allow it to integrate this app with your Shopify store. If you have Shopify, you know how these app works. So you do have to give it permission to integrate. Once you give the store permission, it will integrate to PayPal Zettel. And actually the integration doesn't take that long. It just shows you how much products you have, which on my shop, I'm gonna assume, I think I have 67. So yeah, 67. So once it's imported, once you click continue, it's like that it's imported to your Shopify. It's imported to your PayPal Zettel back office, which is cool. I think that is really great and very convenient because if you remember when we had PayPal here, we were not able to do that. We had to single-handedly integrate or you know add products and things like that. So if you have a website, this comes in handy. Right here, I'm showing you that you can actually undo the sync. If you do sync it and you don't like all the products that it added and you don't like, you know, what you see, you can always undo this and start from scratch. It's no, you know, it's not permanent. As you can see, compared to like the back office of PayPal here, the back office is really detailed. It has, you know, receipts, reports, like it's, it has a very storefront POS system for someone with a small business. Like 
even if you're just you know selling at a market or something like that it has a really you know classic professional back office that can help in the long run where you have to do taxes or if you want to just record and keep track of your inventory anything it has a good back office for that so i appreciate that So here it says there are no products added yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a tester product where we just add a random product just to see what would happen and how it would work. So we're gonna go ahead and add in a tester product. So right here I'm adding in tester product, I'm giving it a category. You know, then we're gonna go ahead and add in some prices and then see, just to test it out and see how it looks on our app. It does have variants, which is cool. It has weights. It has a different, if, like if you have a restaurant or something, it has the capability to make weights or tips or anything like that, which is good. <laughs> if at some point you decide that you no longer want to integrate your Shopify store or any other store with your PayPal Zeta Reader, you have the option to disconnect the reader as well. This is a view of what my product library now looks like after I've integrated all of my Shopify products. They all come over. This includes archive products and products in draft. I think the drafts one also came over as well. So they're all available on your PayPal Zetra Reader. You can go ahead and remove the ones that you don't want to see. But what I wanted to point out is that if you wanted to edit a product you could edit that product on shopify and then once you edit it on shopify it automatically updates on paypal zetto that is amazing and great for business so as you see here we clicked on a product from in the paypal zetto marketplace and it tells us that any changes that we make in the paypal zetto it can be like if you make a change in Shopify, it will override the change that we make in Settle. So Shopify is a dominant one here and PayPal Zetto is just a card reader and you know to help track your inventory. So now I'm in Shopify and I'm gonna go ahead and find a product and edit the product in Shopify just so you can see what happens once the product edits in Shopify and how quick it is reflected in PayPal Zettel on your PayPal Zettel card reader slash back office. Now I'm looking for the product in my PayPal that's a product list to see, you know, if the change was reflected. You can see here it actually was reflected and that's within seconds. So it's like immediately it changed in the PayPal Zettel, which works. So you know if something is updated in the morning, it will show up on your PayPal Zettel and you don't have to worry about anything, having to change anything manually or anything of that sort. Right now, I'm trying to test a checkout. We're doing a test checkout, adding products to our cart just to see, just to get a feel of how the Zetto works and how quickly, you know, the purchase is reflected. All your products in your Shopify store that you integrated, this is how it will look on the app. So this is actually my phone view on exactly how it will look in the app when you're at a market or anywhere that you need to sell in person. Well, you know, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, or comment, whichever one you want to do, and help me on my road to 100 subscribers. Thanks for watching.